In this video, we're gonna go over all of the steps of digging the grave, the process from start to finish. So if that's what you're here for, stay tuned and let's get to it. No, I've been plowing since six o'clock this morning. It is currently 1.15 and I'm done plowing for the day. We're gonna locate this grave site and then go back to the farm and get all the equipment and come back and dig this grave. But before we do any of that, we're gonna have to plow this cemetery, open it up. Let's go out here, see if we can find this headstone. Found it. If you are getting into this line of work, I would highly suggest getting some sort of probe to probe and see if there's caskets underneath the ground. This is just a probe that I picked up from Menards. It's in the plumbing department made for finding septic tanks. So you can probably find it at your local hardware store or I'll probably leave a link to Amazon. They sell them on Amazon as well. Let's uh, probe this. She already has a headstone, but we're gonna mark out where we need to dig this grave. We're gonna be digging the grave right in here. Let's figure out where this casket is. If we push down, you hear that? That is a casket right there. We're gonna end up finding the edge of this casket, which is really close to right here. Right there is the edge of the casket. Oh, yep, there it is. That's hard. There we go. The edge of the casket is right there. Let me go get some plow stakes real quick. So I'm just marking the corner. No, that's pretty deep. I don't want to go that deep. there all caskets go on the east side of the headstone so make sure uh you write that one down eight feet eight feet is right here and so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to find the edge of this other casket right here and probably end up moving the stake just slightly over to the edge of the casket. Looks like this casket is pushed up this way. The edge of the casket is right there. So that this headstone is actually probably sitting on the casket, which shouldn't be. You find a lot of things wrong in the cemetery. All right, so that is about the edge right there. So we're gonna go over and slide this plow stake over to right here. It's a lot easier with no snow. Four foot right there. And these two plow stakes right here are right next to this casket that's under here. Um, each plot is eight foot long by four foot wide, but I'm gonna dig the grave 45 inches wide. 45 inches is plenty to get that vault down in the grave and get that casket down there. Now what we're gonna do is go get all the equipment, come back and dig this grave. So we're at the farm right now. There's a bunch of things that need to happen before we can go dig that grave. We need to unhook this dump trailer, go hook up the uh, other trailer and start the excavator, load it up, strap it down. Start the excavator and let that warm up for a bit just so it has about five to 10 minutes to run. We 
gotta go hook up the trailer now and clear all the snow off the trailer. Worst thing about this truck, no backup camera. This might take a while. Where'd the pin go? I'm an idiot and put it right here. Gosh dang it. Oh no. <laughs> it's in my pocket. Now the fun part. Let's go get the excavator. That was a pain in the butt. strap her up and I'll meet you guys at the cemetery. We have the excavator unchained. Now what we're going to do is take the excavator off, unhook the trailer, and then take the truck over to where we're going to dig the grave. And then we're going to take walk back over here, get the excavator, and go get the excavator. We're going to leave the trailer by the road just because it's very tight fit with these fence line here. It's going to be very difficult to back up just with myself, no spotter. Kind of on the side, off of the side of the road right now. Makes sense to me. Truck's unhooked. Let's go bring the truck to the grave site.
You guys look in this hole that I'm digging. You guys can see the vault right there from the next casket. I take this, dump it over here. Uh, I don't want to load this too much because I, I just don't want to overload this. And I'm an idiot <laughs> and I forgot a tape measure. How the heck am I going to measure how wide this stupid hole is? I think I'm going to have to call my wife and see if she can come out here and bring me a tape measure. She's not going to be happy. I hope. Oh, I did bring a tape measure. Holy crap. Holy crap. I didn't think I brought one. My wife was going to be ticked at me. <laughs> oh, man. What a day. Let's unload this.
It's getting pretty dark out here, guys. What do you think of the hole? Pretty good, eight feet long, 45 inches wide, all the way around. Perfect, ready for the funeral. Go ahead and dump this, same spot I dumped it, right over here. I'm gonna load everything back up. I do have some plywood on the trailer. I'm gonna lay some plywood across the top so snow does not get down. Today is Thursday, tomorrow we're supposed to get, guys, we're supposed to get two foot of snow tomorrow. So definitely need to put some wood over here or I'm gonna have two foot of snow in this hole. And definitely gonna need to come here tomorrow, probably a couple times and plow the cemetery out. Be plowing all day tomorrow. I think this is gonna be a two part video. The first part right here is digging the grave, doing all the stuff that uh, for preparation for this grave. On Saturday, we'll come back with the Bobcat and fill this in. That will be the second part of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. God bless, take care. I'm gonna pack up, get home, get some food in my belly and uh, get some rest because man, tomorrow's gonna stink. All right, see you later guys, bye.